Hello. I'm Richard Bryant, Executive Director of Musco Center for the Arts at Chapman University. I'm happy to announce the continuation of our At the Musco online series beginning next Thursday, September 17 at 7 p.m. and continuing most Thursdays through mid-December. Soon after the pandemic struck, we launched At the Musco online as a way to better connect with you and our community during this extended intermission from in-person performances. We really miss being inside the magnificent Mary Bell and Sebastian P. Musco Center for the Arts, and we really miss all of you. As we continue to learn and listen to the effects of social unrest in response to injustice and the pandemic, the Musco team immediately got to work on assembling a fall online season that focuses on diverse creative and academic perspectives that champion the ever important art of community. Online talks, performances and happenings that unify real people in real time around real artists as they engage in the topics of our times. I'm pleased to share that we are collaborating and co-presenting with some of our most impactful partners, Chapman University's College of Performing Arts, Hilbert Museum, Latinx Staff and Faculty Forum, and Wilkinson College of Arts, Humanities, and Social Science, and the LA Opera. We're also pleased to present some of Musco Center's community festival favorites, Heartbeat of Mexico and Mostly Blues. These are online topic-based series. And we'll also extend our At the Musco conversations with Voices of Our Time and Ever a Dancer. Answering calls for action and change from black, indigenous, and people of color, the Musco Center is set to action on learning identifying and creating a plan to address long-term institutional and systemic racism and unconscious bias in arts venues and within arts producing and presenting organizations of which we are part. Working through materials such as the Chapman University Black Student Union Action Plan and the BIPOC demands for white American theater, our team's key initiative from this ongoing process is an immediate increase in culturally inclusive and social justice inspired online curation. For example, our fall season opens next Thursday, September 17th with a living room style concert by local artist Trey Souls. This is an online extension of Heartbeat of Mexico, our annual festival produced in collaboration with Chapman's Latinx staff and faculty forum. Going online gives us the opportunity to honor Mexican culture, traditions and family year round, not just in the few days around Memorial Day. Our second Heartbeat series will take place on December 3 with a conversation about the play with music, American Mariachi, featuring playwright Jose Cruz Gonzalez, music director Symphony Rifler, Flores, and dramaturg Shirley Fishman. On Thursday, October 15, we will offer another at-home style concert that brings back Aki Kumar for his unique blend of Bollywood, pop, and blues. Aki helped us kick off the first Mostly Blues Festival last fall in the Aiken Arts Plaza, and we're delighted to have him back online this year. Expanding on the celebration of the blues on October 29, we'll feature Blues, Roots, and Diaspora. And that will unite bandmates and Chapman professors, Dr. Paul Abudaka and Sean Heim in a conversation about blues history and multicultural reach around the world. We will also continue with our in-depth series, Ever a Dancer, that puts long-lived and emerging dance practitioners in direct conversation about topics of cultural equity, social justice, representation, and creative pursuits. On Thursday, September 24, Theatrical Dance and Equity will convene a lineup of seasoned Broadway performers, including Wilson Mandriella, Rami Sandu, Lani Sakakura, and Tomar Wilson. These artists have collectively been part of more than 28 iconic Broadway productions, including Hamilton, The Book of Mormon, Hare, Chicago, Mary Poppins, Oklahoma, The King and I, and Fosse, to name but a few. On October 22, we will continue examining the intersection of diversity and inclusion in representation in ballet and beyond 
the co-creators of Final Bow for Yellow Face, this New York City ballet soloist Georgina Pascoe-Queen and Phil Chan, will be joined by Chapman professors Bren Shiovitz and Dr. Stephanie Takarogawa in conversation about Asian portrayals in dance. And on November 19th, Tap Dancing Diaspora will bring together Broadway legend and original cast member of A Chorus Line, Ron Dennis, along with tap educator and performance veteran Brandy Lara and viral sensation and syncopated ladies founder Chloe Arnold. As part of the Special Voices of Our Time series in collaboration with LA Opera, it's about opera's past, present, and future. We'll be bringing a Chapman alumnus and a rising opera star for a living room concert. There'll be other LA Opera related events as well. We look forward to seeing you this fall at the Musco for one or all of our free online events starting September 17. For more information about each of the series offerings, schedule announcements of additional events, and to sign up for event reminders, please visit us at muscocenter.org. Thank you. Hope you're doing well as we are here. Hope to see you soon back here in this beautiful building.